Hello, Dee Fish here from Rockstar Consulting with another LinkedIn tip. Today we're going to be looking at the LinkedIn privacy settings, the four you need to know. Now these LinkedIn privacy settings are very simple, but they're very powerful because they determine how much information you share with the LinkedIn community. The four settings we're going to look at today are the public profile setting, the status visibility setting, the connections browse, and the profile views. And by the way, there's no right or wrong way to have these set on your LinkedIn account. It's really going to be determined by how you're using LinkedIn. In other words, your LinkedIn strategy will determine how you want to have these settings on your LinkedIn account. Now, all of these settings can be accessed through the accounts and settings page. We're going to start with the public profile first, and that's accessed on the left-hand side under profile settings. And the public profile setting determines how the public can see your profile and what information you share on your public profile. Now, your first level connections can always see all of the information, but what this determines is, again, somebody who is not a first level connection, how they see your profile. Now, you'll usually want to share all of your information with them, but for some reason you might want to change, let's say, your past positions or your education, and you can simply determine what you share or what you do not share by clicking the box or unclicking the box. Very simple. Uh, you can also, by the way, on the bottom here, click on view my public profile as others see it. And this allows you to see how your profile looks to others when they come to visit your profile. So that can be pretty handy. The next setting we're going to look at is the status visibility setting. This is also accessed on the left-hand side underneath profile settings. And the status visibility setting simply determines who can see your status updates. Now, there's three levels from which you can choose. You can choose to share your status updates with simply your connections, with your network, or with everyone. And again, it really depends on how you're using LinkedIn. I do suggest if you're using it for branding or to build a reputation to share your status updates with everyone. However, if you're just using LinkedIn to stay connected with your, your uh, close network of colleagues and, and peers, then just sharing your status update with your connections or your network is fine. The next setting we're going to look at is the connections browse. Now this is found on the right hand side under privacy settings. The connections browse is very simple. It determines whether or not your first level connections can see your other first level connections. Okay, so basically it determines if you can uh, see uh, someone's full network. Now I usually suggest that you have this set to yes, show my connections list. The LinkedIn community is obviously a networking community, and so it makes sense that you want to, just as you would want to go to somebody's uh, profile and be able to see who their uh, connections are, in the same way you want to allow other people to see who your connections are. It's a, it's a way to be a good community member. But if for some reason, maybe your profession or your industry, you, you don't really want to share who your, your uh, network is, you can simply click no, hide my connections list, and then your first level connections will not be able to see who your uh, other first level connections are. And finally, we're going to look at the profile view setting. This is also accessed on the right hand side under privacy settings. Now what this does is it determines how you will show up in somebody's who's viewed my profile list on their profile if you go and visit their profile. All of us on our profiles have this box and it allows us to see who has come to our profile and looked at it. Now there's three settings that you can choose here. The first is to show your name and your headline. The second is to show just an anonymous profile. This means it just says your industry and your title. Or you can choose to not show any information when you visit somebody's profile. And again, it's really dependent upon how you're using LinkedIn. If you're looking to build your network and you're looking to make new connections, you might want to have your name and headline show up when you view somebody's profile. In general, I do suggest that you set the anonymous profile characteristics. And then sometimes you might uh, want to set this so that you don't share any information so that you are uh, completely anonymous and under the radar. And that way you can look at somebody's profile without them knowing. These four privacy settings will help a lot when you're uh, using LinkedIn. And again, dependent upon your LinkedIn strategy is how you're going to set these different privacy settings. But good luck with that. And I'll see you the next time at the Rockstar Success Library.